Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum. So, I am Nufati Izzati. My name is Zulaika. I'm Fatima Lehisa. So, in today's video, we are going to present our extended essay on the title Moral Education to be effectively taught in preschool in Malaysia. This presentation is for our subject with the code LED1201 which is instructed by Madam Nia. Enjoy and stay tuned. Since the beginning of 21st century, the challenge in the scope of human values, human civilization, and humanity has been even more challenged by globalization. As the country advances, noble values which are in line with the five principles in Ruku Negara of Malaysia seem to be taking a back seat. According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia 2020, the crime statistic of Malaysia 2020 has recorded a rise to 256.6 in the crime index ratio in 2019. It also displayed a moderate rise in the statistics of children involved in crime at 8.7%. Furthermore, uh, there are also many increased statistics regarding unethical behaviour re recorded in Malaysia including immoral acts from teachers towards students which also impacted those students negatively. This negative behaviour syndrome recorded in Malaysia have clearly proven that Malaysia is still far from being courteous and polite. These issues can be reduced by instilling noble values starting at an early age such as in preschool as this period is a sensitive period where the development of emotions and moral sense will ensure the formation of the moral qualities, moral motive, behavior as well as the habit. So the first thing that should be observed is the National Preschool Curriculum Standard and PCS which is the most updated version of the preschool curriculum in Malaysia. The NPCS is also in line with the National Education Philosophy and EP that proposes education as a strategy for children's holistic development. However, there are several loopholes that could still be found. The first flaw of NPCS is the NPCS aspires that children be developed in ethical behavior, but at the same time, it still contradicts the NEP in various ways as it still conserves the master of 4M, which is Membaca, Menulis, Menyura, and Menakut. Thus, this action led to a premature emphasis on structured academic learning. The second flaw of the NPCS is the NPCS in Malaysia contradicts the emphasis of education in Finland, which is well known by their effective educational system. The Finnish educational system focuses on the implementation of expressing the joy and meaningfulness of learning through play and active learning in their pre-primary education, while Malaysia still deny the encouragement of informal approach in their educational system itself. This is evidence that MPCS fails to acknowledge the fact that early childhood development is not always apparent and that learning processes are often too complex to be determined solely by restrictive and linear learning outcomes. Therefore, several loopholes in Malaysia curriculum can still be improved in order to enhance our education's quality, especially moral education. It is going to focus on the scope of quality education, which entails providing a balanced education that focuses on the holistic growth of the student. By all the issues that we have stated before, moral education should be effectively taught in preschool in Malaysia to develop children's personality, overcome negative influences, and create a harmonious society. The first main idea is moral education is important to develop children's personality with character and attitudes. This is because character is the youth's strong foundation on which a person's entire existence is built. Character is the unique quality that distinguishes you from the competition. Our ability to grow and improve our character will decide our success. And each of us has the ability and potential to do so. According to Muhammad Shakir in 2019, teaching moral values and critical thinking to students is becoming a growing concern among educators as this skill aid in the development of a person's personality, character and attitude. Therefore, educators must implement intentional character education exercises in their daily curriculum if they want to cultivate high levels of achievements in their students. The ethical condition of future Malaysian society will decline if preschool do not aspire to meet their students' moral needs. 
At preschool, we are encouraged to make our students better readers and thinkers. But how about to be a better people? Our nation seems to be missing the importance of teaching children how to be productive citizens by putting too much focus students in reading math, social studies, and science. Young children are easily absorbed with what they have learned during early education at preschool. So, by instilling moral values in preschoolers, they may develop an attitude and character that will undoubtedly mold them in to great adults. The consistency of teacher-preschool relationship can have a significant impact on long-term academic and social outcomes. As a result, fundamental principle and character development should be taught in preschools. In Malaysia, moral education should formally be put as the main goal for the curriculum, not just as part of the curriculum. The teachers in preschool can make moral education as the lesson for the topic or activity in the class. For instance, the teachers can encourage the preschoolers to seek the truth of the matter when they establish classroom routines, form groups, and enforce discipline. Therefore, the teaching moral of education is vital in our education system in Malaysia as it shapes the human characters. So, according to this statement, human first character is noble and it serves as the basis for all subsequent characters, which also stated in a hadith where Prophet Muhammad SAW had said, narrated by Bukhari, the best among you are those who are best in morals. Moving on to the second main idea, which is moral education should be effectively taught in preschool in Malaysia to overcome the negative influences of globalization. The developments of today's era has clearly proved many positive aspects in our life. However, it also increased the negative trends among people in this era, such as camps, gangster, racism, pornography, free sex, and also the environmental ignorance. These negative trends and crises can only be ended by the improvement of moral education in our educational system, especially in the early childhood education, as it will promote the moral consciousness and also enhance the pro-environmental attitudes among preschoolers. The effectiveness of moral education is vital to promote moral consciousness in children, thus help them to overcome the negative influences of globalization. Furthermore, Hester found that even though humans tend to illustrate their values through their emotions, but the existence of moral consciousness in humans will promote a better non-limiting way to deal with peers by respecting their personal and collective dignity. Thus, this will reduce the unethical conducts among preschoolers such as discrimination, bullying, and hate. Moreover, promoting moral consciousness in children will assist them to socialize and to contribute and cooperate with their peers in an organization with a positive way. Therefore, the effective moral education in preschool will promote moral consciousness which assists those children to overcome the negative influences of globalization. In addition, enhancing pro-environmental attitudes among preschoolers in an effective moral education is also one of the best ways to overcome the negative influences of globalization. The numerous environmental problems that we face today such as global warming, pollution and also food waste will not only impact the elderly but certainly give a bigger impact to the younger generation as it will become worse and worse in the future if it is not well addressed in the present moment. It is also known as Environmental Moral Education EME which is presumed to influence the pro-environmental attitudes of the student. Jacobson et al. stated that environmental education is an essential part of biodiversity preservation strategy as it raises environmental awareness and sensitivity including understanding and positive attitudes towards environmental threats. Thus, by implementing EME in preschool, it will lead children to be more aware and concerned towards the environmental ignorance and problems. For instance, it will encourage the children to recycle things, to take environmentally friendly cuisines, and also to prefer eco-friendly shopping. Therefore, enhancing pro-environmental attitudes among preschoolers through EME is an essential way to assist them to overcome the negative influences of globalization as it will enhance and increase their concerns towards the nature. To conclude, moral education should be effectively taught in preschool in Malaysia to overcome the negative influences of globalization. Promoting moral consciousness and enhancing pro-environmental attitudes among preschoolers in an effective moral education are proven to guard against any negative influences of globalization. By the right idea of moral behavior in any circumstances and by the environmental awareness produced from EME, the moral consciousness can be developed and the pro-environmental behavior can be strengthened.
Another perk of teaching moral education effectively in preschool is to create and sustain harmonious society. The tolerance issue is one of the issue faced by most people nowadays as people with diverse racial, ethics and cultural groups live together in the same society and the dynamic change built by globalization has to be fixed. For that reason, this issue should be focused more on as Malaysia is a multicultural society that includes various races and religions. Therefore, it is very important to consider an effective moral education in preschool as one of the major to create a harmonious society as it promotes diversity awareness and builds children's resilience to rapid change. The ultimate goal of moral education is to foster ethnic cohesion and peace among society. To do so, people's understanding of diversity should be at the forefront to keep unethical acts under control. For example, as a teacher in school, they must coordinate activities in a structured and productive manner and the society should be interactive in producing a variety of interaction that will influence the student's rationale. So, the student will be able to interact with their peers positively and far from any social issues. Moreover, it has been observed that morality is instilled in children and adolescents primarily in parents and teachers. This is because the children perceive them as a role model in their daily life. In an effective moral education, teachers should show a good tolerance towards diversity awareness so the children will imitate them and eventually this issue will help the children. So, a harmonious society can be achieved by an effective moral education as it instills children with the love of diversity. Furthermore, implementing effective moral education is very important as it enhancing children in development and learning where they will be resilient to deal with rapid change. Resilient here refers to children's ethical decision in making a suitable decision in any circumstances that occur in their daily life. So, to achieve or to make these children to make an ethical decision, they must have peaceful and a critical mind. So, there are three requirement to achieve a peaceful mind which are careful, positive and critical. So these three requirements are the key to achieving one's tranquility of mind and the tranquility of mind is often related to calmness and having tranquil thinking that could affect decision making. So effective moral education teaches children moral values in a universal and easily adapted method where the preschool can perceive and implement that moral in every decision and situation. With this purpose in mind, the children are surrounded by their peers, they will tend to learn a lot of things, enhance various skills such as communication and adaptability from an early age. So the effective implementation of moral education will create a harmonious society as it promotes diversity, awareness and builds resilience to rapid change among preschooler. By assisting the children with good diversity, tolerance and effective decision will sustain a harmonious environment among the children and thus will leading to a harmonious environment in the society. In conclusion, moral education should be taught effectively in Malaysian preschool in order to develop children's personality, overcome negative influences and promote a harmonious society. Firstly, moral education is vital to achieve a greater individual's personality including character and attitude. At a very young age, these little children acclimatize to live in a world where they can only see and cultivate in them. The second reason that moral education should be taught thoroughly is to counteract negative influence. Implementing effective moral education will guard those children against any negative influences of today's globalization as it promotes moral consciousness and enhance pro-environmental attitudes among them. The third reason that moral education should be implemented effectively is to create a harmonious society. Thus, diversity awareness and resilience to deal with rapid change produced in an effective moral education are important as it contributes in creating a better environment. To obtain the satisfaction of morality in the early childhood education system in Malaysia, everybody should be on the same page, namely the individual, the society and the nation. As for individual and society, these both parties should have a strong sense of tolerance in improving the children's moral education. To enumerate or to give an example, they must help each other in assisting the children to learn the value of morality by showing them the good values that eventually will contribute to the nation's prosperity. It is also recommended that the government put moral education as a priority, thus reviewing and improving the Malaysian preschool curriculum NPCS, where several loopholes are proven to be found. Moreover, education Education should be a political and legal requirement as it is the responsibility that uphold the human rights, including cultural pluralism, democracy, and the rule of law. If this continue, moral education.
education will be effectively implemented in Malaysian preschool. Therefore, will leading to a better progress of nations and country. Furthermore, implementing effective moral education in preschool will not only impact the children but also impact to the surrounding of the children and the world. As stated in the Quran, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim." In Allah ayat muru bil abdi wal ihsan wa ita idil kurba wa yanha anil fahsha wal munkar wal bagi yaidukum la alakum tadakkarun. In Surah An Nahl verse 90. This verse illustrates that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has commanded us as human beings and as Khalifah in this world to act in ethical conduct. As the ethical conduct will not only affect the person who act ethically but also those who are surrounding Allah as a lesson and so positive influence for the whole universe. In conclusion, effective moral education in Malaysian preschool that leads to a positive action among the preschoolers will affect the environmental thus led to a better and improvement of the nation, civilization and also the progress of Malaysia. Sheikh Mustafa Al Gilani wrote a poem in Izzatul Nashi'in. Inna mal umamu al akhlaqu ma bakiat, fa inhumu dhabat akhlaqu dhabu. This poem explains that the progress of a nation depends on its moral. If the moral of the nation is good, then the progress of the nation is also good. On the other hand, if the moral of the nation is ugly, then the progress of the nation is ugly too. Okay, so we have reached our final destination of our presentation. Hey, thank you so much for staying with us until the end and thank you so much for lending us your ear. Wish us the best of luck. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Goodbye and have a nice day. Goodbye and have a nice day.